Mars Puyan from GBC Live. Today we have uh, Yon Evans too, yeah? That's right. Yeah, awesome. You know what? Still pronouncing Norwegian uh, awesome names is somehow uh, challenging, <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yon is a co-founder of Anyhack. Today as we had <laughs> second cohort of Anyhack. And how many, how many companies do you have in your portfolio? Right now we have about we have fifteen companies. Fifteen companies. Fifteen companies. And today yeah. we had uh, I think eleven companies on stage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ten from our second cohort and one from the first. Nice. That, that was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today we are having you on here asking him about what is Anahag program, what is Anahag vision, and what is Anahag is doing right now uh, in China and what is the what is the plan. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you tell us about Anahag more as a, as a co-founder? What was your vision when you started Anahag with Chris Ryan? I think the vision was to, to build a bridge. Yeah, build a bridge. To be uh, the bridge that makes it possible for uh, you know, Nordic tech to uh, you know, get to a big global market at nice. an early stage and uh, to use uh, the resources and, uh, and the know-how uh, you know, that in our team to to, to make that happen. I mean, the Nordic region mm -hmm. has a lot of interesting technologies, a lot of great uh, and creative entrepreneurs. Nice. Um, but uh, as you know, the, the, the market is small. Yeah. So I think key is to get out at an early start and, and to, uh, there is no better place to do that than in China and, and, and Asia. And that's what we were aiming to build and uh, what we think we've, uh, we are on the way to building. Yeah, that, that, that's awesome. I mean, being brave and building Anahag, building it up. And having a kind of platform as a bridge that's helping every single startup there if they want to get in China. If they are coming in China under your umbrella, that would be awesome. Earlier we had talked with some other guests that, yeah, that's the kind of point that every single entrepreneur, they have to consider that being in China alone as an international startup, it doesn't make sense. You got to go through some innovation centers, uh, including Anahack, which I think is uh, one of the good ones. And yeah, really appreciate for your efforts here. So, how Anahag uh, is helping its companies? I mean, first of all, we 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 invest in businesses. We yeah, are you. first of all an investor. So we cool. are we are a venture capital firm uh, nice. with uh, its only purpose uh, to invest in Nordic businesses, bringing them and scaling them in in China nice. and uh, and Asia. So we provide funding for the companies, uh, and then we we take them here yeah. uh, right into where the action happens. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we focus uh, mainly on three things. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, some companies are here for, you know, setting a production, uh, prototyping, production sourcing, and, and, nice. and this kind of things. And, and this is one of the things that we help the companies with. And there's no better place to do that nice. than in uh, this country. Uh, then we help them, you know, to access the market, mm -hmm. to, uh, to onboard clients and customers, getting paying customers, which we, which we believe is, yeah. is the key for a business. Uh, exactly. And then we also help the companies to, to raise capital uh, in this part of the world. Well, for the next the round or next stage of their fundraising program. Yes. yes. That's mm. cool. So we, we are just curious that in which level that you are funding your company. Is for like seed level or A level or pre B level? Uh, we we invest early stage at this point. Early stage. Yes, so we do. So we invest a small amount in the companies, mm -hmm. and then we usually also follow on and invest in later rounds uh, in the companies. But right. uh, most of them are uh, are uh, you know seed pre. -A. Do you have any a special focus? Like you go for healthcare, you go for TMT, you go for any other areas, or yeah, our okay. first fund is sector neutral, and yeah. uh, we are investing in companies in in several areas. But as yeah. we uh, develop as we, um, you know, open our other offices and accelerators in China and Asia. Nice. Uh, you know, we we also, uh, you know, build competence in each place in different areas. So yeah. right now, you know, here in Shanghai, we have uh, a special focus, I would say, on uh, on ocean mm -hmm. technologies, ocean. on the maritime, offshore, uh, aquaculture, everything in in, in that nice. area. And nice. In Beijing, we focus more on on uh, software, uh, software and uh, AI, gaming, edtech, yeah. uh, and, and Shenzhen focuses more on, on uh, manufacturing of hardware products, consumer electronics, IoT, and so on. And then we are also opening later this year uh, and uh, healthcare accelerator. Uh, we're building also a healthcare fund to support Nordic healthcare and medtech companies coming mm -hmm. into China. Nice. 
So do, do you uh, just only focus or invest in Nordic startups or you have eyes on others as well? Uh, at the moment we are only investing in Nordic startups. Nordic startups. Yes, we are. Uh, but uh, as we grow, we, we will also uh, start to uh, look into the other areas and we will also, uh, you know, uh, at some point start working with Chinese companies going the other way, and mm -hmm. we see there is a lot of interest there and a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities, opportunities here. That, that's completely mm -hmm. true. So, uh, what are the barriers of companies if they want to get into Chinese market? What do you see those barriers are? I think, you know, there, there's a lot of barriers for a small company to, yeah. to overcome. I mean, you come into a new country, it's a new culture, a new language, exactly. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, every uh, city in, in, in China and every province is in kind of, you know, can, yeah. can be its own market. You know? exactly. So it's, it's difficult to navigate and to start if you don't have yeah. uh, support or, or, or advice uh, when you come into the market. And that we try to, to, to help the company with. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then, of course, I think, you know, the speed in China is phenomenal. So you yeah. know you have to you know adapt to that speed. You yeah. have to you have to be able to deliver fast and to and to you know adapt to the market quickly. Yeah. Mm. Do you think is it uh, this is necessary for any international startups to have a look of China, or they gotta focus on some other markets which is easier in a first stage or second stage? I think most of the companies will have used their home market as a as a Kind of at, at the, the, the start and, and, yeah. and, and the test. And for most companies, for example, from Norway, Sweden, or Denmark, they will go to one of the other countries uh, yeah. in, in, in the Nordic uh, next. And I think that's a natural thing to do. But I think, you know, um, uh, you know throwing yourself into a market like China and, and, and trying to, to uh, adapt uh, to this market, you know, is, is a great opportunity. And, and I think this is a trend we see, that more mm -hmm. companies actually are interested in making that leap uh, to, uh, to, uh, to scale quicker. Yeah, I saw that uh, like Anahag has a really close and tight uh, connection with Innovation Norway and Innovation Denmark. What are other uh, governmental uh, innovation centers that you, you've been cooperating with? Oh, we are also working in close cooperation with other Nordic countries yeah. and their, and their uh, governmental uh, uh, business agencies. We do. Yeah. I mean, we have a especially close relationship with them now from the start. Uh, but um, uh, I, I think this is something that, uh, or I know this is something that uh, that uh, is being recognized nice. uh, as a great opportunity and, and you know, uh, kind of a uh, extended hand for for also the the companies coming out of these countries. They right. see that this also brings value back. So, uh, so uh, we have great support from 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 them, and, and you know, we will yeah. continue to, to get more. Are you expecting any unicorn from your partner? I mean, any of them could be. Uh, I think unicorn. we have many potential, yeah. uh, or or we have quite a few uh, potential yeah. unicorns, both in our uh, current portfolio and yeah. and and there are more uh, on our radar. And I I think you know uh, there is no doubt that uh, you know right now most China is the has surpassed. Yeah. Really, uh, Silicon Valley when it comes to creating unicorns. Uh, yeah, it's also uh, they also use much less time to get to unicorn status. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and uh, even more, the unicorns here are bigger yeah. than the unicorns in, uh, in in for example the U.S. So yeah. there is no better place to to build a unicorn than in uh, in China. So yeah, we have to be waiting for any hack and mm -hmm. see the when the unicorn coming out. And uh, let's see what will happen. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Jan, for your time and for being with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. I hope to see you again. And we'll definitely see you again. And wish you the thank best you, for you and your team and NHAC team.